Hey there everyone, this is Tim, or as most of you on this channel know me better as, Kijani Lion. Today is a very special day, as it's the 20th anniversary from the day I accomplished one of my lifelong dreams and became a contestant on the game show Wheel of Fortune. To celebrate, I'll be re-watching my episode of the show and providing some commentary along the way about my experience and what exactly was going on in my head being a really nervous, scared 18-year-old kid in front of a live studio audience, the iconic Pat Sajak and Vanna White, and millions of TV viewers watching along at home. As I'm sure most of you know, I love game shows, and since my appearance, I've hosted many game shows both online and in person at conventions and private events, giving ordinary people the chance to feel and experience what it's like to be on a game show, something I was very fortunate to have happen in my life at a young age. In fact, when I was eight years old, I remember watching the show with my grandma, who didn't speak much English, and at that age, she was shocked that I was able to solve the puzzles faster than the contestants on the show. So I told her one day, I'm going to be on that TV show, Grandma, and I'm going to win lots of money. At the time, she just kind of laughed it off, thinking I was just a kid with a dream. Well, I was, but let me tell you, with a lot of dedication and a little luck along the way, your dream just might come true. All right, there's that iconic Wheel of Fortune opening and logo for the 2004-2005 season. Uh, the nerves are definitely flying right now as, as they're doing the pre-show and, and opening here. And uh, when Pat and Vanna walk out, it's like, it's showtime. You know the game is on. Uh, they did give us some time to get acclimated to the set with uh, practice spins at the wheel and some practice puzzles. Uh, and we also taped a little short segment for our uh, local affiliates called the Hometown Howdy. And I messed mine up about three times, so everyone wanted to play against me, I'm sure, because they knew I was nervous. Uh, but we start off here with a toss-up, and I am so nervous right now. I just I don't want to get shut out. I want to win some money here. So the theme is Florida, so I'm thinking Florida for proper names, and I know my Florida sports teams, I just, I was too nervous, and I wasn't able to completely focus on this puzzle, so I didn't get in. I just got in a little bit too late, but uh, Kristen got that one. Gators and Seminoles, Florida State and Florida University, of course. So now, I'm wondering what Pat is going to talk about with me, because what we do is we give the contestant coordinators a kind of a list of things about ourselves on a card to give to Pat, and we don't know what he's going to pick from that card. So I don't know if he's going to ask about my job, my college, my hobbies, so my girlfriend that I do not have. So I was just anticipating what he's going to ask me, and hopefully I don't mess up and look like a fool in front of millions of people. Tim Ratnabe is from Kirkland, Washington. That's correct. A food server, it says here on my card. Yes, I serve food at a restaurant and lounge in Kenmore near my home. Okay, best place to do it. Uh, what else? Uh, now you're going to school? Yes, true? I'm a sophomore at the University of Washington up in Seattle, and I'm studying to be a communications major. Uh, well, I hope that, that all works out Thank for you. Thank you very it's much. Nice to have you here as well. Well, that was pretty quick and painless. Just a couple questions about my job. I was working as a uh, kind of a waiter or server at a at Kenmore Lanes, the bowling alley near my house, and paying my way through college. And I ended up talking about college a little bit. I was studying uh, to be a communications major, and that's exactly what I ended up doing. Lichen, who's at home with my mom, the best mom in the world. Two bonus kids, Kayla and Cliff. All right, nice to have you along Thank as well. Uh, let's get some I was very relieved to get that interview uh, portion out of the way and get back to the game. The category is the ever popular on the map. So I'm not great with my Florida geography living in Seattle, but I was familiar with Panama City, this uh, city in Florida. I was definitely thinking Florida for on the map and Florida week. It's very important to always think of the weekly uh, theme for the toss-ups. It's still prevalent today. So my first spin, um, I figured in my practice spins that my average spin went around about one time uh, if I did normal strength. So I was definitely able to try to use that to my advantage. As you can see, I was very close to that 2500. So I just tried to replicate that same strength spin on the next one. I bought a vowel there wisely. Always buy vowels. I think contestants are getting better about that over the years. So this one, I really was trying to get that 2500 because I was right around it and I finally get it. And of course... There is no end. Oh, got it. Womp womp. Unable to cash in. So when I lost my turn there, I figured I probably wasn't going to get it back this round. Uh, you never know, but uh, your turn is at a very premium in this game. Because uh, contestants are good enough, they're usually not going to call wrong letters, they're going to play smart, so we'll have to get unlucky on the wheel. So um, 
as you can see, uh, they, te they teach us as contestants to keep the, what they call the juice flowing, the positive energy. So you yeah, always want you to keep clapping, clapping, even when it's not your turn. Uh, just helps uh, keep the flow of the game and, and the energy of the game high. And that's what they like. It makes for good TV. So that's why the contestants keep clapping. So Paula gets on a roll here. I know she knows it. She's going for some extra money here on the last spin. Yes, one L. And calls that last consonant. Let's agree to disagree. Yeah. So look at you. I would have known you had that little gambling streak in you. We do get to talk to the contestants, fellow our contestants in the green room, uh, kind of the backstage area where we're at the contestants holding area where we get briefed on the rules and stuff. And one of the greatest memories of my time here on Wheel of Fortune was uh, when we were in the green room, Vanna White came in. I think she does this for every group of contestants, but she came in, uh, knocked on the door and uh, wished us all good luck. And she had no makeup on, her hair was a mess, and she was wearing like sweatpants and sweatshirt. And then she said, now you guys know what I really look like. And that all brought a laugh to us. But it, was, it just really shows you how genuine Vanna is and that she took time out of her day to do that. So future prize, round two, is a trip to SeaWorld Orlando. And I had never been to Disney World uh, at this point in my life. I was a big Disney fan. And I would love to go on this trip, SeaWorld, and definitely nearby uh, Disney World as well. So I really wanted to win this trip. So since I started the first round, Paula was going to start the second round, and at, with a big puzzle like this, you really hope that it even gets back to you, because uh, usually with a big puzzle, there's a lot of common letters in there, so it's hard to get your turn uh, if you're third up. So I'm just hoping to get a turn, hoping to get a chance here. So uh, prize, this is a prize puzzle, so obviously there's a trip attached to this, uh, which is very important to keep in mind as a player makes you probably want to solve the puzzle earlier than you normally would knowing that there's that bonus uh, vacation on the line and bad luck there for Paula it's gonna be a common theme to look for in this game my opponents bad luck on the wheel now Kristen does a head scratch here listen to her call I don't know what she was thinking to call a W there with that many letters still open and many common letters still open, but I was very fortunate to get my turn this early in the puzzle. So I call the letter that Kristen probably should have called in her turn, that's common T there, and uh, fill in some spaces with E, and I actually knew it at this point, I, I knew the entire puzzle. Now it's just going for maximum profit. I did make a mistake here. I landed on the free spin and called uh, the H, but there were four of them. I didn't realize there were that many, so it was a little bit of a wasted opportunity there, but that free spin may definitely come in handy later in the game. RIP free spin, by the way. So right now I'm just filling in the spaces. I'm scanning the puzzle looking for multiple letters. If I hit a... Uh, a b bigger amount on the wheel, say 600 or higher, I'd call that multiple letter um, and save the singles for the lower amount. 600 is about the average on this wheel, so uh -huh, one S. go either way there. So I know there's one big multiple coming up here with the three Fs, and uh, I actually was going for the Sea World trip here. I overshot it, but just a little bit, but 800 is a great spot on the wheel, so I cash in on that multiple F for uh, 2400, and I think that's all I need to do. Let's win us a trip. So I act very surprised here. I actually knew it was a prize puzzle. I was just confident in my spinning ability that I wouldn't mess up. And uh, I hadn't been to Europe or England uh, in my life. Never been outside the United States, so I was very lucky and very happy to win this trip, and was really looking forward to it. It was a great experience, by the way. I got to uh, take my sister, and we met my mom in London. Uh, she was working in China at the time, and uh, we took this tour together. It was fantastic. Everyone was involved with the uh, the tour. was great. Got to see all the sights, and uh, yeah, just a, just a wonderful experience. When you win a trip on a game show, they, they take care of you.
they were even able to make it so I was able to, my layover was in New York City, and I was able to arrange to spend a few nights in New York City uh, and do some sightseeing because I'd never been there either, and they made that very easy for me and my sister. So uh, thank you for the team at Wheel of Fortune to uh, for really uh, making that an awesome holiday, and I jump out to a big lead here earlier in the game, and I'm sitting pretty. I'm more happy that I didn't, you know, get shut out. That was kind of my my fear, even though uh, the odds of that were slim. So this was back in the mystery round days where a car was still offered. Uh, I think the year after this, or maybe two years after, they changed it to that flat ten thousand dollar prize. But uh, I really wanted to win a car. I was driving a, being 18 years old, I was driving uh, a hand-me-down. Uh, I believe it was a Rav4 that had some engine problems. So I was uh, really hoping to win a car here, on the show in, in some way. So, a uh, huge puzzle, Kristen unfortunately loses her turn, so she, just, she doesn't get to play at all. Um, and, uh, let's see, I, I had designs on running this puzzle, because uh, it's a big one. And I could really rack up a lot of money. Interesting situation here with the mystery wedge. I, I have the absolute minimum to risk, and uh, I basically have a coin flip here for that Kia Rio card. And, obviously, I go for it, and it was not the good outcome so that was kind of unfortunate that I lost a coin flip there for a car but I had that free spin in my pocket if I didn't have that free spin I probably would not have gone for it because I didn't want to lose my turn here but I knew I had that insurance so before and after is one of my better puzzle categories I'm, I'm usually able to, to figure it out pretty quickly So I just wanted to uh, buy some vowels here as soon as I had the money and fill in some extra spaces to get some information. So I figured out right away that that last word was lettuce based on that pattern. And I was like, okay, so what kind of lettuce is it? Lettuce comes in a head. So I got the, the last part of the, the before and after head of lettuce very quickly. So now I just had to figure out the first long part that ended in head. And thankfully my parents listened to a lot of really old songs, old music, and made me listen to it so I knew this song title. And uh, it looks like I don't know what the puzzle is, but I'm really good at acting, I guess, because I knew exactly what the puzzle is. I'm just basically scanning the board for multiples. Uh, mo this puzzle had a lot of them. So, um, see the 400 here, I... Uh, Call, I can't remember what I called, but there was I was saving the ends. There's three ends. I was saving the ends for a bigger amount. So I just keep spinning. Remember, my spin goes about once around, and there's a big swath of the wheel with no bankrupt or loose turning. So I was just kind of hanging out in that area. Now this is a thousand dollar wedge, so now I call those three ends. Act very excited, like I didn't know there were three of them. So that's uh, another three grand, and I think uh, I think this is enough. I think I'm going to solve it here. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Man, I look intense here. This is awesome. You can just see the look of despair on the other ladies' faces. Like, uh, this 18-year-old, barely out of high school Asian kid is just schooling us. This 21000 I won already is probably about 10 times more than I ever had in my bank account at that point in my life. Okay, so I had a big lead, comfortable lead going into the last toss-up in the last round here. Early bird special. This was very ironic because I worked in the restaurant and sometimes I would work Sunday morning. Uh, and we did have an early bird special on our menu that I would <laughs> give to our customers, and I didn't get that puzzle, so I kind of felt bad about that, but that's okay. I, just, I guess I had won too much already. I wanted to spread the wealth around. We'll go We'll go with that. So Paula, another bankrupt. That's the fourth bankrupt or loser turn that my opponents have hit, and they've only spun about like eight or nine times total, so yeah, it's kind of crazy. And another one. That's just unreal. So a lot of things had to go my way to get my turn and being able to capitalize on having my turn. I know time's running short at this point, so I look at that $5,000 space that my on it. It's eight spaces ahead of where I am, so I know if I absolutely wail on it, I can get close. I spend it as hard as I possibly can, and I got it right in the middle. And there are two ends. 
and moreover I'm able to cash in on it. It's hard enough to land on 5,000, but to cash in, especially with two ends, uh, just a dream come true for a Wheel of Fortune player. I was, I couldn't believe it. Obviously, I know the second word is tennis, and I really want to get one more chance at the 5,000, but I think they decided that it was time for me to stop spinning the wheel, so they called the final here. So I know I have a huge amount in my bank already, almost 10 grand, so I really want to solve this puzzle and, and give, the, give myself that nice extra added cushion going into the bonus round. I really thought I was correct there with full tennis court, and then I thought Paula knew it when she called the C's, but she did not. Two C's. There is an L. Club. Mm. Paula, letter. B? No, 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 Kristen. Pat's bewildered B. reaction there was because B was already called. Uh, you didn't get to hear it, but someone, I think Kristen called him B, but Kristen wasn't... Uh, I'm sorry, Paula wasn't looking at the used letter board, so oh, yeah, no money for the vault to get the uh, she kind of lost her turn there. And I think right now is where I finally figure it out. It's not club tennis court. M? No? Y! Yes! It's the French Open tennis court. Again, I'm very lucky I got to solve that. I think if there was any other contestant up there besides those two ladies, uh, I probably don't get that $14,000, but just everything went my way on this whole episode. I spun very well, my opponents got bad luck, uh, I executed my game plan, I had a game plan going in, and rarely do you ever get to use it to this extent and have it work out this way, so again, overall, very, very fortunate. And both of these ladies were extremely nice. Uh, Paula is a nice little southern lady from Arkansas. Um, her boyfriend did give me the stink eye in the elevator after the show because I had uh, won all the money, so that wasn't very pleasant. But uh, other than that, these two ladies are both very, very kind and uh, was happy to share the panel with them. So I'm just relieved right now. I won a ton of money in the main game. I won more money in the main game than a lot of people win after winning the bonus round, the 25000 prize. So um, it's, it's all gravy from here on out. I'm just having a good time. So I brought my friends, my coworker Greg Tirada from Kenmore Lanes, and uh, my childhood friend Michael uh, from, I've known him since about third or fourth grade. So uh, it was fun to get together with those guys again and uh, have them be a part of this experience with me. All right, would you hand that to me, please, Tim? Thank you very much. Come on with me. Right over there, if you would. And now, all right, so right when I'm standing there next to Pat, it's just all focus mode here. Uh, my bonus round solve rate uh, heading into this show was probably close to 80%, so I was feeling pretty good about it. It's if they gave me something really obscure or strange, uh, I would be... Okay. The time I wouldn't get it, so I was just hoping for not not that. C, what? D, two. P, and about A. My usual was C D M A, but I didn't see an M in this puzzle, so I went with the P, and there was no P either. So. Um, the C being there, I got lucky right away. I just didn't know. I just didn't know what that second word was. Nothing made sense to me. Lucky staff, lucky. S oh, so close. Lucky, oh. And you can hear the groan in the audience, Vanna's reaction. They all knew I missed it by one letter. I said lucky staff. Stiff. And it was lucky stiff. And I had never heard that expression in my life uh, before that day. So I can't really, really be expected to say something I'd never heard in my life. It was just one of those old expressions that people don't really use anymore. Maybe they queued it up for me. Obviously, they didn't do that. But uh, kind of bad luck to get that bonus puzzle. But 36 grand, I will take it. What a day. What an experience just to be on Wheel of Fortune. Something I wanted since I was since I was a young kid. I visited South Beach. And do a nice tribute to Florida here. This whole week they did little specials on, on Florida, different communities and cities uh, in that state. So they're featuring uh, Miami on this one. But um, after I won the show during the credits roll, you'll see in a little bit, uh, I got to be on stage. The winner gets to be on stage with Pat and Vanna and talk during the credits. And out of all the things we could have spoken about during that segment, 
so I think it was uh, Vanna comes up to me and says, so Tim, you're from Kirkland, Washington. Is that the same uh, city as Kirkland Signature, the Costco brand? Because Vanna shops at Costco, apparently. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is, it is the same city. And then Pat was confused, and he's like, Oh, uh, Kirkland. Sign- what does Kirkland Signature make? And and Van is like, oh, they make things like toilet paper and stuff like that. So then Pat comes back and says, oh, what makes Kirkland Signature toilet paper better than say Charmin? So we had a discussion. Out of all the things we could have talked about in that two or three minutes, we talked about toilet paper from Costco. That was just that's my claim to fame. That's my memory that I'm t- going to take away from all this. But I got to chat with Pat and Vanna about toilet paper. Thanks so much for watching my 20th anniversary special of my Wheel of Fortune show. Hope you like the insight and commentary. If you have any further questions about my experiences being on Wheel of Fortune, I'd be happy to answer them. Just post in the comments below. Until then, keep chasing your dreams with a little luck. And I definitely had some luck in this half hour. You never know what will happen. Have a great one, everyone.